CSU's Foothills campus on the western edge of Fort Collins has a rich history of groundbreaking research, education, and engagement. Innovators in diverse fields such as hydrology and animal reproduction have been drawn to the unique physical assets of this campus, including hundreds of acres of research land, Chrisman Airfield, College Lake, and extensive water shares delivered through Horsetooth Reservoir. At Foothills Campus, the work and the land are closely connected, and we'd like to share this land acknowledgement. CSU acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land-grant institution, and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And, significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. As the current steward of more than 1,250 acres at the Foothills campus, we have developed an exciting vision for a sustainable future New investment in connectivity and facilities will create the Foothills Campus community, attracting the best and brightest minds, inviting new collaborations linking government, academic and industry partners, fostering cross-disciplinary research, connecting more undergraduates to experiential learning and engaging the local community. Here's a look at some of the innovative work already happening at Foothills. The Laramie Foothills bison herd has a genetic lineage from the remaining wild bison of Yellowstone National Park. Researchers used assisted reproductive technologies to generate offspring with the Yellowstone genetics, but without brucellosis, a disease now endemic in the Yellowstone area. Before the herd moved from Foothills campus to its new home at Soapstone Prairie Natural Area, a private Native American ceremony was performed to prepare the bison for their transition. Some calves from the first generation, now mature bison, have been given to tribal nations in support of their efforts to reestablish their own herds and foster that connection on their own lands. At the Infectious Disease Research Center, experts from academia, government, and industry come together to tackle the challenges of infectious diseases in humans and animals. IDRC's Regional Biocontainment Laboratory is one of 12 facilities across the nation designated by Congress for researching emerging infections and biodefense pathogens. Incubator Space gives industry access to laboratories and research resources, and the Biopharmaceutical Manufacturing and Academic Resource Center adds manufacturing capabilities for high containment vaccines and diagnostics. CSU's close partnership with the Centers for Disease Control allows researchers to jointly study viruses such as chikungunya, dengue, West Nile, yellow fever, and Zika, reducing the timeline for response in case of an outbreak. On Atmospheric Hill, CSU's well-known hurricane research is part of a bigger story. The Department of Atmospheric Science, along with the Cooperative Institute for Research in the Atmosphere, CIRA, conducts cutting-edge weather and climate research with NOAA, NASA, the Department of Defense, the National Science Foundation, and other government and commercial partners while providing world-class education for graduate students. Working as one cooperative team, researchers study the impacts of climate change on hurricanes, wildfires, floods, droughts, and dust storms. CIRA helps to connect the research capabilities of CSU with the practical needs of forecasters and decision makers.
At the Engineering Hydro Machinery Lab, outdoor flumes supported by 10,000 square feet of greenhouse space were used to investigate levee overtopping and failure after Hurricane Katrina in coordination with the Army Corps of Engineers. Vegetation grown in CSU's greenhouses was tested to determine if it could withstand erosion from overtopping in a large hurricane, ultimately avoiding failure of the levees. Indoor test facilities model dam expansion projects, allowing engineers to confirm spillway performance and verify the effects of slight adjustments in the design before the projects are constructed. The Colorado State Forest Service Nursery provides tree seedlings used in reforestation efforts that are critical to Colorado's recovery from devastating wildfires. Nursery staff, with help from students, grow up to 100,000 seedlings each year. Students play an integral part in caring for these seedlings, putting into practice skills they're learning in undergraduate programs. Seedlings are delivered to private landowners, state agencies, and Native American tribes to support reforestation efforts. The trees help protect watersheds, stabilize the soil, and keep clean water flowing into streams. And the Forest Service is working to preserve Colorado forests for future generations. The Temple Grandin Equine Center provides equine-assisted therapies to individuals with autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, PTSD, and Alzheimer's and other dementias. Therapies range from physical, occupational, and speech therapy to mental health counseling. Physical therapy uses the horse's movements as a tool. Kneeling on the back of the horse helps to increase balance, body awareness, coordination, and sequencing needed to improve ambulation while building confidence and relationships. From infectious disease to equine therapies, there's a lot happening at Foothills Campus, and there is room to grow. Our vision supports a Foothills Campus community focused on collaboration and connection. We will connect research centers with roads for expanded transit systems and new trails for bikes and pedestrians that tie into the existing community fabric. We will build interdisciplinary research centers to catalyze collaborations across the Foothills campus. Undergraduate students will collaborate with researchers and graduate students in the Experiential Education Center building resumes through practical, real-world experiences. And researchers, visiting scholars, K-12 students, and the local community will connect in the Community Education Conference Center, sharing innovations and cutting-edge research, or having a bite to eat. The Foothills campus has always attracted innovators. With outstanding programming and unique physical resources, this overview is an invitation to build on a strong foundation and partner with us. With transformative investment, the Foothills campus community will continue to change the world through research, education, and outreach.